Hey kids, today we're going to talk about adding and subtracting fractions. You might have done this a little bit last year, but this year we're going to practice it a lot, okay? Uh, in order to add and subtract fractions, this bottom number here, these two denominators, must be the same, all right? If they were the same, it'd be easy, all right? But, but most of the time in fifth grade, they're not going to be the same. Uh, a lot of kids will make the mistake and they'll just go ahead and add the two top numbers and the two bottom numbers and they'll say that that's the answer. Uh, you can't do that. That's a no-go, all right? So um, I'm going to show you how you get the answer um, when both the bottom numbers are different, okay? I made a little special note for my kids in my class to help them remember two really important things when it comes to fractions, all right? The GCF, the greatest common factor, and the LCM, least common multiple, okay? When we're adding and subtracting fractions, this is a very important thing, okay? The LCM. When you want to reduce fractions, you use the GCF. Even I get these two con confused every now and then, so I have to remember this goofy little these goofy sayings that I that I showed the kids and wrote down to help them remember. Okay, the GCF. I remember Geico caught frogs to ride. Right, Geico caught frogs. Greatest common factor to ride to reduce. I use the GCF to reduce. If you want to reduce a fraction, use the GCF. All right? Reduce, ride, ride, reduce. That's what helps re remember it. That's that's what helps me remember it, okay? If I want to add and subtract fractions like we're doing on today's video, I have to use the LCM. So I remember the saying Lily caught mice at Subway. That's my dog Lily, all right? At Subway, adding and subtracting fractions, all right? least common multiple for adding and subtracting fractions. So today we've got to, we're going to use the LCM. So in order to add these two fractions, I have to make the two and the five the same. Well, how do I do it? I find the LCM. The LCM of what? Of two and five, okay? So let's go ahead and find the LCM of two and five, all right? We're finding multiples here. That's what the M is. First multiple of two is two. Second multiple of two is four. Six, eight. All you're doing is counting by twos here. That's what multiples is. Two times one, two times two, two times three, two times four, two times five. And the list goes on and on and on. Let's go ahead now and find the multiples of five. First multiple of five is five. The second multiple of five is 10 and third multiple is 15 and we could keep going we could stop now because we found the least common multiple and here it is it's 10. so the least common multiple lowest common multiple the smallest one that's common what do you mean common well it's in both lists it's common to both lists there's not a two in this list down here. There's not a four in this list. There's not a five in this list. The 10 is common to both lists. So that's our LCM. The LCM of two and five is 10. So now what do we do with that 10? Well, let's make both bottom numbers 10. How do you make a two a 10? You multiply it by five. How do you make a five a 10? You multiply it by two, okay? Now with fractions, what you do to the bottom number, you must do to the top. So if I multiply this number by five, I need to multiply this number by five. If I multiply this number by two, I have to multiply this number by two, okay? So now we're ready to rewrite our problem. Five times, one times five is five. Two times five is 10. We're adding. 2 times 2 is 4, 5 times 2 is 10. Now both of our bottom numbers are the same, so all we have to do is add the top two numbers. You don't add the bottom numbers, you just slide it on over. And there's our answer.
okay? So one half plus two fifths equals nine tenths. The only thing is when you get an answer, you have to ask yourself, can I reduce it? Can I reduce it? Well, remember, if you can reduce it in this particular uh, example, you can't. This is this is reduced. But if you if you could reduce it, then you would use the GCF. Geico caught frogs to ride to re uh, to reduce. But we'll make another video on that later. OK, as of now, here is our answer. Nine tenths. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Good luck.